Hey you guys, we're back for another episode of Attack on Titan Chibis. So uh, this time Dawn on Amino, Crafty Amino, uh, requested me to make this character and I found time to do it. So uh, she hasn't responded whether she wanted me to make uh, him in the uniform or um, in his cleaning outfit, so to say, which is on the back of this paper. Um, so I'm just settling for... Um, his uniform. So to make this chibi you're going to need uh, different colors of clay. So this is white which uh, you will need for his little tie if you want to call it that. Then skin color of course. For the shirt I think. Oh you, you need white for the pants. That's okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, then you need uh, Sahara for the shirt. Caramel for the jacket. This is some mixture of different browns. I think you can get this color by mixing chocolate and Sahara maybe uh, for the belt thingy here. And you can also use it for the straps around the legs. Then uh, green for uh, the cape. And I got this color by mixing equal parts of emerald and caramel. Then some silver for uh, the blade sockets or whatever they're called. And then for his hair I'm using two different colors. So for the part that is shaved I'm going to use a very dark grey and then for the rest of the hair I'm going to use a simple black clay. Okay and as always you're going to need uh, various tools. If you don't have a pasta machine um, you will need a clay roller um, to roll out sheets for the cape for example, um, different kinds of blades, uh, a needle tool, um, if you want to turn it into a charm then also uh, a head pin. I'm using a copper one just because it goes so well with all the browns. Then um, you might need some blending brushes. Sorry, like those. And um, also, I like to use these ball tools. Yeah, um, I probably forgot to mention something, but you will see when I use it in the video. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So after you have conditioned your clay, take a ball of flesh colored clay and some tool and holding the head at the sides, make an indent for the forehead. Don't push too much, a little goes a long way. To make the eyes or the eye sockets I would usually just uh, use my largest ball tool but uh, Levi has a very special eye shape so um, I'm gonna settle with a small end and make a very small indent first and then I'm gonna switch to a pointy tool and try to get the shape of his eyes right. Okay, then hold your head at the sides and take out your needle tool and twisting and pushing at the same time make a hole. We'll start out the body shape with two equal parts of white and Sahara. Then take the white ball of clay, put it between your palms like so and then roll. Now you have two teardrop shapes. The upper half of the body is the Sahara color and the lower part is the pants. So take out your knife and cut both teardrop shapes in half. And then stick together shirt and pants. Before we go on, make sure that the body fits the head. You want to go down only halfway because he's wearing boots. So half of the legs will be boots colored. Like so. And the other half is black. And then take two balls, stick them on top of each other and roll them out.
then pinch the black plate to create a boot. Then cut off the legs at an angle and attach them to the body. Lightly pinch. And then again, holding the body at the sides, get out your needle tool and twisting and pushing at the same time, drive it through the body. Bake the two parts before you continue. So the ribeye has been in the oven for about five minutes. I rolled my silver clay through the pasta machine on a setting uh, one. <laughs> and then just cut two rectangles. Then take a thin strip of black clay to make the decorations. This is the front of the maneuver gear. Take your knife and make however many cuts you can fit for the blade slots. Okay, then attach them to the body. You can use female liquid for this, but it's not necessary. Just slightly pinch. to bond the pieces together. Before we can attach the arms and then the cape, we have to finish the head. So get out your dark grey clay and roll out a thick sh thin sheet on a setting 6. Then wrap the sheet of clay around your head, around the chibi's head, not your head obviously, and then pinch it at the base of the skull and cut off any excess clay. Then make another thin sheet on a setting 5 from black clay. First trace out and cut the bangs. Attach them to Levi's head and then smooth them onto the grey clay that you attached earlier. Smooth it down a little bit and again Make a few cuts at the base of the black clay sheet to make the hair look a little bit more natural. So get your sheet of clay and I'm using a cookie cutter but you can also just cut it using your blades and then cut out a circle that in half and use one of the halves as a device cake cape not cave smooth out the seams a little bit it might be good if you if you indent it a little bit so cut out a triangle and then make it look like it's flowing Stick on his head and you are ready to bake. When your chibi is fully cured, we can go ahead and paint on the facial features. So get out your acrylic paint and a dotting tool. Dip it in the paint and then color in the eyes.
let this dry and then we can continue. Now all that's left is coloring in the pupils, so get out some black acrylic paint and because um, his irises are very small too, I'm using the pointy end of my uh, ball tools and then just make the pupils. It gives him an annoyed look, make, um, leaving the colored parts, so the iris and the pupils so small. So here is the finished chibi. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. And do let me know if there are any other characters you'd like me to make. I'd be more than happy to provide you with a tutorial for them. Okay, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!